Among those with spring break flights or really any flights in the next few months, be prepared to have fewer options to park at DIA. We talked yesterday about the large portion of the Pikes Peak lot closing for repairs in just a few weeks. This is a big deal. Parking yeah. can be really an issue out there at DIA. This morning, 9 News reporter Brianna Fernandez is giving us a bit more context on what to expect. Joining us live from the Pikes Peak lot this morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So this project will be a lengthy one. Like you guys mentioned, not only will it impact spring breakers here in the next couple of weeks when this project starts, but also people who park here daily and then also have summer travel plans. So a busy time here at Denver International Airport. A lot of people usually park here. So if you take a look at your screen, you can see that there's a picture and that shaded area is the area that's going to be blocked off. So sections three and four, these are the southern portions of this lot and that will close starting April 7th. So according to airport officials, the average occupancy of this law is about 65% and these renovations and repairs are necessary because of what the airport calls significant damage. So crews tell me that the old asphalt deteriorates fast in Colorado climate. So during this closure, crews will replace that with white top concrete, install new uh, snow storage pads, update the drainage and reconstruct the shelter islands and curbs to keep up with the ADA compliance. But with any new project that involves parking lots here at Denver International Airport, it means hundreds of spaces will be unavailable for those flying out. This closure will affect about 4,500 spots and about 4,500 will still remain open and available for parking. Um, when both Pikes Peak and Longs Peak shuttle lots reach capacity, we encourage passengers to utilize either the east or west economy lots, the east or west garages, or the 61st and Pena parking lots. Yeah, so just keep in mind if you do park in the other places, the economy and the garage, those, that's going to cost you here because the Pikes Peak and the Longs Peak parking lot, that is only $8 a day. The economy lot, that is $18 a day. And then you have the garage, which that's $30 a day. So just keep that in mind next time you park here at Denver International Airport once this project starts. This project is expected to cost $16.2 million and it won't be done until September. So. A lot going on here at Denver International Airports, but it's definitely repairs that need to be made, Jordan and Corey. Boy, is that true. All right, so this starts up in a couple weeks in April. Appreciate the heads up, Brianna. Thanks. Well